finally get the ball rolling. Um, this year is my year. I am seriously going to dish out these looks. So if anyone knows me well, they would know that Lana Del Rey is one of my biggest inspirations with tons of my looks, you guys. Um, I seriously love and adore her. Uh, quote from her song, Cherry, too. That, you know, love is like standing in the face of danger. Um, and I love that because that's what this look really, to me, has and that I try to portray. Um, we have the pretty red flowers, but they are bleeding. Um, I'm very excited for you guys to continue watching to see exactly how I did this. I hope this look inspires you guys and might, you know, influence you to maybe push your boundaries a little bit and you know if you're feeling a certain way come up with something like you could be your own canvas and that is exactly what i did here i had so much fun filming this look and i hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as i love doing it so yeah continue watching okay guys so starting off i am going to prime my face using benefits professional i've been using this forever just to smooth the skin and any pores and then I'm going to be using Cover FX Sunkiss. These drops are amazing. I'm sure you guys know that if you've played with them before. Just as a little base because it's going to give me a glow from within. Now I'm going in with IT Cosmetics CC Plus Foundation and the YSL Foundation. Um, I'm mixing the two because the CC is still full coverage but a little bit softer. Um, and the YSL, of course, you guys probably know is very full coverage. But together I'm getting a happy medium. I love the CC Plus for every day, um, and I'm just blending down the neck so there are no harsh lines. And now I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape. You know this is everyone's ride or die, and if you haven't tried it, you must because it has the most flawless finish and no creasing, at least not for me. And I'm just blending that away. And again, always go about like two shades lighter than your natural color. And blending. And now I'm going in with my favorite setting powder ever, Laura Mercier, regular translucent powder. And I pretty much bake the whole face and then smooth it out when I do looks like this because I want that full doll look. And I am using the Hot Stuff brushes by Lime Crime. These are so cute. And my ultimate favorite, Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. I'm going in with actually the whiter shade and the banana shade underneath. And again, with the Hot Stuff brushes, I can't get enough of these. Using the lighter color of Shade Light, I am going to go ahead and contour. I personally love powder contouring. I feel like I never do creams. Um, sometimes I will for a more dewy look, but this is my go-to. And Too Faced. Um, I love this blush. I feel like I've been using this for actually years. I think I've had this for years, um, but it lasts forever. And now, of course, Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe. Um, this Taupe is really my natural brow color, and I want my brows to look very soft and fluffy, so that is what I'm doing here. And um, as you guys can probably see, I brush through the brow because I do not want any gaps in my brow. And of course, setting them with clear brow gel. This is Benefits. I love this stuff. Once you place it, it is not going anywhere. And that is why I love it. Because if not, it's Elmer's glue. Huda Beauty, the Mauve Obsessions. This is what I'm going to be using. You guys, this is insanely pigmented. Um, <laughs> I was blown away by the formulas. Um, I feel like all of hers are absolutely amazing. But I love my warm colors, in case you guys could not tell on my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just gradually getting darker on the outer edges. Wind Shield Wiper Motions. I learned that from Jaclyn Hill years ago. <laughs> and all these brushes you guys I'm actually using is from Morphe, are from Morphe. Um, and again, just going darker and darker gradually on the outer corners, making sure that we blend, blend, blend. We do not want any harsh lines. And I'm going to go ahead and conceal. Again, I'm using Shape Tape. Um, you can use whatever concealer you love best. Um, I am looking up, as if you guys can see that. So I am making sure to go up to the line where my eyelid folds 
that's my biggest trick with my halo cut creases or any kind of cut crease for hooded eyes like mine. Um, and then I'm going out with Touch and Soul. I love this glitter pigment. They're gorgeous. This is Natalia. Uh, I've had this for a while, and I love that you can make them so foily. Um, and then I'm just going blending. Well, I'm blending out with my fingers right now. Uh, I feel like that's the best way to blend this because you don't want to, like, brush it away or it gets flaky. And then just getting my lash line, a nice tight line. And I'm using, again, my aquarium brushes to wipe underneath. I love Huda Beauty's Winter Highlight. This makes everything pop. And I love that it has a pink undertone, so I'm just using this on the eyes. I decided not to use it on my cheeks, um, just because I didn't want too, too much pink. And now I'm going in with Lime Crime Opals Highlight in the shade Gold. This one's so beamy and so beautiful on camera. I love this one if you really want that ultimate glow. And now I'm going in with Michael's Crafts Flowers. These are my favorite for makeup looks, arts and crafts, you name it. And I am gluing them on with Tarte's Clear Adhesive um, Eyelash Glue. And simply just placing them, holding it down for a minute so to make sure they stay. And now I'm going in with Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow. And yes, guys, that's the most terrible look ever to stab your eyeshadow. <laughs> but I am making a drip formula, adding lip gloss and liquid gold and argan oil. Oil, gloss, and pigment is all you need to do this. <sighs> So yes, the ultimate drip. I am redoing the drip challenge, okay guys? <laughs> and look, it's actually dripping. <laughs> uh, if I could go back in time, you guys, I would do a look like this and not, you know, freak out. But I also didn't have an hour to do this. <laughs> so yes, I'm dripping it from the flowers. I want the effect that the flowers are kind of bleeding a little bit. Um, and now I'm going in with actually Lime Crime Red Velvet Lipstick and just defining that crease. I feel like this pop of red in the crease did absolutely so much for this look. It made it look super clean. Um, and now I'm going in with the Plushie in Jam by Lime Crime. These are very soft focus lipsticks. Um, and I'm just smoothing it out just as a little base and actually using a blending brush to blur the edges. Blurred lips are obviously my favorite. It's another thing that you guys saw on the show on my second challenge on Glam Masters. And I'm gradually getting darker and darker, as you can see. So the darker in the center always. And just kind of blurring it all out. The black will take a little bit, too. So a lot of manipulation. <laughs> and then my ultimate favorite. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Finny Beauty Lip Gloss is the best. And let me just say, this Sunna lipstick will last for ever. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and blending that all out, making sure that the lip looks flawless. I truly would wear this look out. <laughs> Maybe not everything else, but the lip for sure. I think it's such a sexy look. I just love messy. I don't know why, but I do. And lastly, you guys, I did put a little bit of gloss just to make it more shiny. Now I'm adding the little baby flowers around the corner of my mouth and doing my drip there. You can even add some on the flowers. Be sure to tilt in the direction you want the drips to go. It's very important because if you were to lean to the opposite side or not correctly, it's not going to lay right. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes. I'm going in with Rogue and Rogue Lashes and Teal Co. She teamed with them. She's amazing. These lashes are amazing. Do keep in mind I have eyelash extensions on, not much, but a little, so it did affect the look kind of different, these lashes. Um, and now I'm going in with Ardell individual lashes and putting a few on the bottom. I'm just using the medium and the small ones. And lastly, I am going to be putting on my hair. I'm using Mood Hair, um, and this is in crystal. This is a human hair full lace wig, and I adore it. Alrighty guys, so that concludes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more avant-garde looks, please let me know and stuff. But if you guys love to see like these more artsy things, just to kind of watch, um, I think it's a fun thing. You know, I love and appreciate just watching avant-garde be done. I'm like, obviously it's not something I would walk out of the house and, well, I might because I'm so extra. It's ridiculous. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys want to see um, more of or if you want to see, you know, day-to-day -day glamour, some natural looks, 
or more of this.